Hello people, Parisian Z here. Today I wanted to talk to you about improvisation. Um, when I was young, like most motor vloggers and most people who watched motor vlogs, uh, thanks to Extreme 601, we know that by now, I wanted to become a pilot. I wanted to be a pilot. And um, I fucked up because when you're young, when you're like 14 and uh, you're discovering girls and stuff, you don't realize that uh, math and physics are really important if you want to be a pilot and that um, if, you, if you don't make the right decisions at the right time it's over for the rest of your life and that could that totally sucks you know because because pilots are such elites um, it is very hard to become one uh, when you've made the wrong decisions at school so and I did that um, and instead, I studied economics, and uh, and I'll regret not becoming a pilot for the rest of my life, which is not a problem, which is something that I've that I'm in peace with, if if you know what I mean. Um, but you know that that has to be taken into account, and it's you know it's a mistake I, I think I'll never repeat. Um, I know almost everything there is to know about airplanes I know how to program an, an, an FMS you know I, I know how to um, I know how the hydraulic system of of a Boeing 737 works and I know its quirks and um, I know what an APU is and how it works and I know how to pre-flight an airplane I know how to, to fly it I know what V1 VR and V2 are I, you know basics and uh, all the all this knowledge that I acquired for passion uh, is wasted and is used only in Microsoft Flight Simulator, you know, uh, with with add-ons from PMDG, which I fucking recommend, by the way. Um, they're the best add-ons there is for flight sim. Uh, really precise stuff designed by people who actually fly the planes and and who actually know what they're talking about. Um, it's it's almost like they, they make a software that works almost completely out of Flight Simulator and they use the Flight Sim as an engine for graphics and basic aerodynamics and that's it. So very interesting stuff but that's that's not the point. The point I wanted to make is I made decisions that I can't make up, that I can't correct now. And I ended up where I am and I, I must admit that I don't think that my situation is a bad situation because um, you know, I'm 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 getting a good master's degree. I'm um, I'm working in a great corporation, uh, and and I I do like what I what I do for a living. So so I guess uh, you know the point is it always works out somehow. Somehow it always does. It works out. Um, and I, I couldn't tell you really how I got here. It's always been a question of improvisation. You know, I've never listened to any advice whatsoever. And nobody's helped me study or whatever. Um, I did it all by myself. And, and the help that I got from my parents, which is undeniably, uh, I, I couldn't have done it without did this help. But it was a financial help. And educational as well, because they gave me an education, a very, pr very, kind of a strict, but yet smart education, and, and that helped also. But that said, the rest was up to me, and it, it, it's a question of improvisation, because I never really made, I never, I've never really drawn a path for me. I've never really drawn a career path. Or a or a or a path for what I wanted to study, uh, for what courses I wanted to take. It's always been chosen last uh, la at the at the last moment, you know. And and it's worked out pretty well. And the thing is, I th I think the main point of it is that if you want to do this, if you want to live. Uh, thinking that um, if you want to live thinking that everything's gonna be alright 
then you need to have a big ego you, ha you need to have an enormous ego an enormous ego is not um, contrary to to what people generally say it's not that bad to have a, to have a big ego shit because um, although people will think that you're a pretentious twat and you can be um, and although people will think that you have a very high opinion of yourself which you can have um, a big ego will allow you to not be content of a mediocre situation that's the thing you'll always be very very um, Exigeant. <laughs> How can I say that in English? Um, exigeant. I'll, I'll translate the fucking word. Uh, you can you you can be very very this word uh, simply because you won't be happy with a mediocre situation. You won't be happy with um, working a bad job and having a an ugly girlfriend and and uh, having a shitty car and that won't be enough and from the point at which this is not enough for you uh, if you think you deserve better than that you usually uh, you usually find a way to obtain it you you get you put yourself in a position where you don't let the world decide what's good for you but you make your own luck and I know this can sound very very arrogant and, and it probably is I know it can sound very arrogant and pretentious but it I I, I, I believe that it's it's true you know you, you make your you make your you make your bed you sleep in it that's the thing and I may have been helped by my parents you know definitely but but the rest is up to me you know and uh, I, I could have just yeah done nothing but uh but I did because because I wanted to have this bike for example I, I worked my ass off in a bank for for two years and I got myself this you know and that's how it works and I I don't wait for things to happen I I manage I try to get them myself uh, so that's so that's that I think that my, my real conclusion is that you must believe in yourself it is extremely important to have a high opinion of yourself because otherwise otherwise you're just you're just depressed and gray you know um, you must have a high opinion of yourself but in a in a modest way I know it, it it's a paradox um, but I think it's belief in yourself it's it's precisely that it's thinking that you can do great things but not necessarily bragging about it that's the thing you don't have to brag about it but you can believe in your own mind that you deserve great things and that if you put the right amount of effort in it you can get them and and yeah that's my conclusion so there you go a very philosophical vlog for you today people but uh, heartfelt and 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 you know take my advice just because you made a wrong decision in the past doesn't mean you're gonna end up doing shit you just have to uh, want want great things for you and if you really want those great things to happen and um, then you'll you'll make the proper efforts it's, it's not it's not like you can just believe in it and and and, and it, it'll happen. Uh, no, you have you have to to put the proper efforts in it. But what I'm saying is, it's much easier to to put these efforts when you believe in it than than uh, just having someone tell you to do it and not believing in it. Blah, 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 blah. You got it, right? You got the idea, so. Um, I'll stop there. Thanks for watching. Cheers, people.